How to scrape a web page with PowerShell. This task is basically broken up into two parts. The first part, bring in the contents of a web page. And the second part is to discover the information that you're looking for. So the first part here, we are going to use invoke web request with a URI to pull that contents into PowerShell. And then we're going to assign that to the $W variable. I'm going to execute that, and that just takes a second. And that returns a complex object here called HTML Web Response Object. When it retrieves that web page, it gets an HTML status code. For example, here we can see we return 200, which means it's OK. And there's a lot of elements here. For example, the PowerShell page has 1,942 elements in the All Elements property. And we'll look at how many links it has, 172 links. So there's a lot of data in here for us to go through. If we do want to go through the raw HTML, there's the raw content property, which lists all the HTML that we can go through that if that's what you wanted to do. But there's enough information in the PowerShell objects that we can usually get what we want without resorting to going through the HTML, but it's there if you need that. There's also the parsed HTML, which as its name states, it's parsed. And we can see there's a lot of objects here that might contain the data that we're looking for. But I have some examples here to show you how we're gonna pull some of that out. So this is the PowerShell Wikipedia page. We pull that in and give you a, an idea of the number of elements here. There are 4,938 elements in this array, this all elements array. That's a lot of data to go through and also a lot of links, 1,581 links. So you can see there's a lot of data to go through. Fortunately, PowerShell can make it a lot easier for us to go through all of this data. Here on line 21, we're going to go through the All Elements array, which is an array of objects, and we're going to pipe that through where tag name equals P. So this is all the, the paragraph elements, and we're just going to look at the inner text. And the result is the text of the PowerShell page in Wikipedia, just the text without the links directly in there and so on. Another example here is just looking at the links for a web page. This is the all subreddit, basically pictures of kittens and puppies, and the dot links array of objects gives us a lot of objects. Some of it is about puppies. Another variation on the Wikipedia search that we did above is going through another subreddit, the, the PowerShell subreddit. Here, we're piping all elements through where tag name equals h2. That's the HTML for heading two. And we're selecting the inner text again. And this is giving us all the posts to the PowerShell subreddit. And our last example is a weather report, darksky.net. And this URL points to the Chicago area. And here we're going to pipe all elements through another where. And we're looking at class, where class equals summary space swap. And then we're looking at the outer text. And here we're looking at the weather report for Chicago today, which is 76 degrees and partly cloudy. It's a nice day here in Chicago. So this gives you an idea of the, the different ways that you can parse through a web page. And every web page is going to be different, so your mileage will vary. And that was how to scrape a web page with PowerShell.